Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Camp Buddy. In the last episode, Natsumi's inferiority complex um, got a little bit worse, I think, but we calmed him down with a little bit of sex <laughs> um, in the cabin. It was pretty hot. Um, but now it's the next day, and Natsumi's trying to put on a brave face. Good morning, Naoto. Oh. There you are, Natsumi, and I see you finally got our sleepyhead up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm so late. I, I'm just always used to sleeping in. It's just, you know, your brother really tired me out yesterday, you know, after we got in that underwear and, you know. Happy we, to help. No problem, Katero. My little bro here insisted that we let you sleep in a little more. Isn't that sweet? Wow, you can really see his abs through his shirt. Anyway, Naoto, I noticed that shirt you're wearing. Where did it come from? It it looks a little small for you. Don't you think you should get something a bit more big and maybe baggier so no one can see your abs and pecs? Oh, oh you mean my volunteer uniform? Yoshi gave me one to wear around camp. Actually, I actually started helping him and ate him out with the chores earlier this morning while you guys were preparing. They told me a lot of things about you, Natsumi. I didn't know you were so active with daily camp maintenance. That's really hard working of you. Ah, thanks, I guess. I don't really care about your encouragement or, or compliments, though. I can do it. But you don't have to worry about chores from now on. Big Bro's here to take over while you can have some actual fun. Well... Well, well Natsumi really doesn't mind doing them, Naoto. And he's really enjoying his stay here all the same. <laughs> You guys are really adorable, you know, looking out for each other like that. If I didn't know any brother, I'd say you two are doing the pelvic pinochle. Hello. Greetings! We have returned from mapping out the locations for our filming today. Yeah. I've got all the equipment fully set up, too. We can start filming now. <laughs> the weather's perfect today, and it's still really early, so I'm sure you can get a lot of things done. Of course. That's right. Now time to get your blood all pumped and running. We're having a big day ahead of us. To get this show on the road, let's have a quick recap of our progress so far. Well. Yesterday, you guys finished filming the entrance sequence to Camp Buddy. That means today we'll be tackling its accommodations, followed by the health, fitness, recreation, and education portions of the video. Wow, that sounds like a lot more than what we accomplished yesterday. Oh. Oh, so we'll be filming inside one of the cabins today, right? Well. In all likelihood, yes, we will cut your cabin in the most pristine of conditions. Well, I'd like to offer our cabin, but it's really messy. <laughs> Even though, you know, it's just me and Felix in there, but we never clean it, apparently. Oh! Oh, Natsumi always keeps our cabin clean all the time. He checks on it from time to time through the day, too. Right, Natsumi? Oh, oh yes! It's part of my daily routine, actually. Marvelous! As expected from Natsumi, prim and proper and well-organized, I suppose we found our first shooting area. All right. Oh, let's get to filming, then. Oh. Oh, I thought you said your cabin was tidy, Katero. What? My word, this whole area is filthier than our cabin, Sato. Natsumi. Natsumi, I thought you said you made it a routine to keep this place clean. Is it not clean? Like, I don't know. Oh, look, no. Look at what? Who messed up the beds and threw the pillows around? First of all, this is going to take like 30 seconds to clean up, so like, let's all calm down. Second of all, who did this? <laughs> Uh, I, I swear, I tidied up this place before I left, didn't we? Didn't I, Katero? Yeah. Yeah, I even saw you triple check this place was spotless before we met up with everyone. I mean, you always tr triple check before we leave. I'm actually kind of getting annoyed by it, but what could have happened? <sighs> I'm pretty sure Yoichi made this mess by goofing around the cabin again after we left. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. are you sure you just didn't forget to clean Natsumi? I mean, we can understand. <laughs> I'm totally just belittling you and all your accomplishments, Natsumi. Of course not. N no, I really did clean it. Just give me a little time to tidy this place up again. All right. All right then, let me help you, but I don't believe you still. No. I I can do it. You just stand back, okay, Naoto? <laughs> Aha, and there he goes, trying too hard like always. He always tries to show how independent he can be, even when he needs help. But, but all of us here at camp know Natsumi's really reliable now, Toe. But I guess Natsumi's a different guy back home, huh? Yeah. 
You could say that. I can't remember the last time he asked me for help. Hi there. Everything's clean again, guys. We can start filming here now. All right. All right. Good to know. All right. Places, everyone. Let's get this started. All right. All right, Natsumi. I hope you memorize the script. It's not much, but Lee will be here to help you out with the cues just in case. What is this little image? Like, what am I supposed to be feeling? Or what am I supposed to be... Like, what does this even mean? <laughs> Alright, Sato. Make sure that the mic is off frame, okay? Katero. And Katero. Don't forget. Steady hands and proper focus, alright? Make sure everything's perfect. Action. Hi there. Hi. Welcome to Camp Buddy, a place where you can experience the adventure of a lifetime. Well... Here at camp we offer... Cut. Okay, cut. That was absolutely terrible, Natsumi. Natsumi? Natsumi, you gotta speak with more enthusiasm. You sound like one of those text-to-speech robot voices. Remember, since you're the audience's tour guide, in this video you have to smile and have a really friendly tone. I'm really sorry. R right, I'm sorry. I'll do better, so don't replace me as the lead actor, okay, Na Naoto? I'm sure that won't happen. I'm sure. Like, 50-50, I feel like that's gonna happen. And like not somebody's gonna get really pissed about it. Alright. Okay again. Action. Why did he say it so so like trepidatiously? <laughs> Hi there. Hi, welcome to Camp Buddy, a place where you can experience the adventure of a lifetime. Here at camp we offer I mean here at camp we offer I mean here at offer we camp i mean <laughs> i said what he said wrong and i said it right the first time that was weird <laughs> cut okay cut i'm really sorry uh, i'm sorry i just got a little sidetracked there natsumi focus natsumi eyes on the cue board this is the gonna be the third take and you know how i am third take is my last take no matter what all right roger uh, that oh okay that's not putting any pressure on me all right one more time. Tick tock, Natsumi. Last chance. Action! Katero? Katero, is Natsumi okay? He seems a little shaky today. Ah, uh... uh, I'm not sure either, Sato. Mm. It's just really weird seeing him make mistakes like these. He usually gets things done perfectly on the first try. Well. Well, maybe he just needs a little time to adjust. Cut. Cut. I didn't even hear you say anything this time. <laughs> All I heard was Katero and Sato talking. Natsumi, why do you keep looking away from the camera? You should always maintain eye contact with the viewers so it feel like you're talking to them personally. <sighs> I do suppose Natsumi was adjusting his line of sight a little too much that it could possibly be perceived as a distraction. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Let me try again. Um, um Naoto, I think that last take was alright. Was there really anything wrong with it? I mean, like, can you stop insulting my boyfriend already? It's, it's really rude of you. Yeah. Yeah, it looked fine to me, too. I'm pretty sure we can edit the bad parts out later anyway. Yeah. Good call, Sato. I guess we can just clean up all the flaws in the post-production. And boy, there will be a lot of flaws to clean up. You know my brother Natsumi can't do anything right. This will have to do for now, since we still have much more to film today. We just have so much to get through, we don't have time to stay here for too long dealing with Natsumi's fuck-ups. Okay, let's wrap things up and proceed to the next part of the video. Try not to drag us down too far, Natsumi. Our next filming location should be the obstacle course. Sato, Lee, could you two come with me and help clear out enough space for our next shoot? Alright. Gotcha. Natsumi. Natsumi, I'll leave the equipment here for you to move, alright? And you just take a breather. Just <laughs> just get psyched up for your, your, next, your next scene, okay? Because I know you're going to shit all over it. All right. All right, guys, let's go. Natsumi. Natsumi, don't let it, what he said get you down, okay? I, I, I'm I, sure he wasn't trying to insult you. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, Katero. I'm just feeling a little shaky today. I, I'm used to his verbal abuse anyway. It's, it's fine. I didn't realize acting was so hard. I should have practiced when I had the chance. Actually. Actually, I think you did all right considering you have such a pressuring role. But thanks for understanding, Katero. I'm sure I'll pick it up soon. I just need a little more time to learn everything better. Well? Well, of course, Natsumi. I'm sure your brother just knows more about this because he's had experience with it before. But... 
But since this is your first time, it's only natural that you're still getting used to it. I'm sure everyone understands that. Thank you. Thank you, Katero. I can always count on you to help me see the positive side to everything. Actually... Anyway, we better catch up with everyone. I still have to carry all this equipment after all. Oh. Oh, let me carry them for you instead, Natsumi. Come on, I can be a big strong man for you. <laughs> you can just prep yourself for the next shoot. Besides, you can't turn out all sweaty and worn out in front of the camera, right? All right. Uh, all right, Katero. Thanks again. Come on. Come on, better pick up the pace, Natsumi. You're totally, you're totally dogging it again, Natsumi. When will you ever learn how to act? All right. R right. All right. Okay, now that everyone's here, the next scene we're gonna film has to tackle promoting the camp's recreational activities. We should highlight all the outdoor activities offered by the camp in each scene. Camp Buddy has tons of activities like rope climbing, track and field, rock climbing, swimming, boating, fishing, and of course, camping. So I'll be filming short scenes wherein you'll be doing all those corresponding activities, Natsumi. Anyway. And you don't have to worry much about script reading this time since this session is jam-packed with action. So we don't have to focus on your inability to read lines and memorize them and your inability to act entirely. According to my calculations... According to our storyboard, we need two actors to convey the spirit of the competition to our viewers. And to make that work, we need a volunteer to compete with Natsumi on screen. Wow, I wonder if there's anyone nearby with strong muscles who can compete with Natsumi. Hmm, who could it be? Could it be someone to my left that's totally bulging out of his shirt with his muscles? I bet not. <sighs> Let me just preface this all with the fact that I definitely will decline the role as I'm quite incapable of any strenuous physical activity. <laughs> I'm totally just proud of myself when I said that. <laughs> I'm totally acting like it's actually a good thing. We want to impress our audience, not depress them. Hmm. hmm. As much as I want to compete with Natsumi, I'm a really bad actor, so you guys will have to not be thinking of me. <gasps> oh, how about you, Mr. Nauto? You've got experience in acting, right? And you've got experience in your big ass muscles. Well, I actually wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind putting my brother to shame out there. <laughs> Hold on. But wait, can we let someone else take the role? Like. Katero, like he has no muscles at all. Like I'll look like a like a bodybuilder next to him. Aww. Aww, why don't you want me in the role, Natsumi? Are you scared I might beat you by a landslide? Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, I'm just kidding, bro. Though I guess I see your point. I might look way too mature to be competing with a camper for the ad. <laughs> you bet, that'd be so awkward. <clears throat> I guess that only really leaves us with Katero here as our second actor. As long as he agrees, we should be set. Well. Our little cameraman is cute enough to be an actor himself. Uh... Uh, I I'd love to help out, but who will be in charge of the camera? Well. well, since we won't be needing Sato to hold the boom mic for this scene, he can operate the camera. That shouldn't be a problem, right, Sato? <laughs> sure, Nauto. I'm just as good with the video, too. Okay, I guess. Oh. All right then, it's settled. Let's get into places, everyone. All right. Okay, so for our first scene of the batch, we'll be rock climbing. I want you guys to make it look as action-packed as you can, all right? Action. In three, two, one, action. Make it look as real as you can, guys. Katero. That's good, Katero. Amazing form, keep that up. Natsumi, you're fucking... <laughs> You're fucking shit out there. You need to pick it up. Look at Katero. Do as Katero does. Natsumi. Natsumi, try to keep up with Katero, please. Mm -hmm. Wh what? Am I really doing that bad? Cut. Okay, cut. Natsumi. Natsumi, you are going too fast. This scene came out looking way too scripted. You're not the only actor this time. You need to keep your pace the same as Katero so that it looks natural. Natsumi. Maybe you can get a little closer to Katero so that you can see where he is better. I'm really sorry. Oh, okay, sorry about that, guys. Maybe you should have told me that beforehand instead of, like, complaining to me after the fact and acting like I'm the problem. All right. All right, let's do it again. Try not to fuck up this time, Natsumi. I'm only giving you two chances this time. Action. And action. All right. Okay, great. Keep going, you guys. And cut. Katero. 
That was perfect. Good job. You're a natural at this, Katero. Unlike my little brother over here. Natsumi? Natsumi, you are a little stiff, but that should do it for now. Again, we can probably just take it out with editing. You know, <laughs> since you're just acting, your acting just isn't up to par. Just step up your game for the next scenes, all right? I'm, I'm sick of having to settle for second best here. Natsumi! All right, you know what? Actually, um, despite all my um, extra dialogue I'm giving to Naoto, he's actually acting like an asshole. <laughs> he's actually just acting like an asshole. All right. Let's move on to the next highlight, shall we? As we continued filming through the rest of the day, I started noticing Natsumi get more and more stressed with the activity highlights. Naoto also seems so much stricter on Natsumi than the rest of the film crew now. I knew Natsumi was trying his best, but it didn't seem like Naoto was giving him much credit for anything. Maybe it was just their way of showing their brotherly love. I doubt it. Although I never had a brother, so I wouldn't know. We actually got to finish each activity highlights by sundown. Even though Naoto's demand for retakes took up a lot more time than needed. At the end of the day, Natsumi and I were feeling really exhausted. Whoa, what a long day. Did you like, did you like getting bitched around by your... By your brother Natsumi? All right. Okay, and that's a wrap for this film session. Man, that took longer than I thought. If it wasn't for you, Natsumi, <laughs> if it wasn't for you, it would have been done hours ago. If Katero was the main actor, <laughs> we could have been in and out in under an hour. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for causing such a big delay, guys. I guess this was just too much for you, huh? I guess you'll never be quite as good as your older brother, will you? Well... Well, if it weren't for the retakes, we would have finished faster. Well, if it weren't for the fact that you can't, couldn't act, we wouldn't have had to do retakes at all. It's not like we should settle for less for our promotional videos either, Natsumi, just because you can't act. How about this? Although this, this this answer kind of feels a little bit like what Natsumi did was good enough, as though he, as though he didn't do an amazing job. It's almost like I'm saying he didn't do an he didn't do a great job, but what he did was good enough. Like that's what it feels like. But I think this is the right answer. I think. I'm probably just reading too much into that line. But now tell what Natsumi did was good enough for the video. Of of course it is. I was just talking about his overall performance. I know my little brother here is capable of a lot more. Besides, do you want to just settle for good enough for a, some shitty camp promotional video? He needs to act like a real actor. Well. I was just giving Natsumi here some constructive criticism. I want him to improve after all. Um. Are we going to continue filming? It's already sunset. Well, the only scenes left to film are mostly indoors. Maybe we can work on those instead. No can do, Sato. We still need natural lighting for those. Well. But luckily we still have enough time to film the ending scene in advance. I did plan ahead for it to be filmed during sunset. It gives the video a more organic feel and we started just after sunrise and end just before sunset. Hmm. That way it'll seem like the viewer will have spent the whole day in camp just from a short video. Marvelous! How perceptive you, Mr. Nato! You're quite the talent at directing as well! You're so amazing! Can I touch your pecs now? I'm not sure, I'm sure no one among us could have ushered in that kind of creativity. Not even I, not even I with my calculations. The final scene should be a little shorter than the rest, so we might still have some time to film it. All right. It'll take place at the entrance, so let's head there right away. Huh? Katero? Katero, are you okay? Uh... Uh, I'm alright. I'm just a little worn out. Carrying the equipment and filming the activity highlights over and over it was really tiring. Oh, I apologize. Oh, I'm really sorry. It's my fault since I'm such a shitty actor. I just couldn't act out the scenes properly. I'm so sorry, Katero. Everything is my fault. <laughs> That's what my brother's convincing me of. Maybe. Maybe you wouldn't be so tired if I was actually able to do this right. I'm a failure, Katero. At least let me help you carry the equipment this time. Your body must be aching right now. Well... Well, I'm sure yours is too. We spent... We went all out on that action shot together after all. <laughs> well... Well, there's only one more scene to film. Think you're still up for it? I think I'm good. Don't worry. I don't want to show you... I don't want to slow you guys down. Alright. Roger that. 
Okay, great. Let's join up with them, shall we? Sure. Sure, Natsumi. Right behind you. All right. Okay, great. Now that everybody's here, let's get to filming this last scene for the day. We don't have much time left, so we need to wrap this up quickly before the sun completely sets. Come on. Let's get into position, everyone. Action. In three, two, one, action. <laughs> and that's it for our tour of camp, buddy. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to come adventure your own experience here. Wait, what? And if you'd like to come adventure your own experience here. I can't tell if that's a typo or if, um... Or if that's just Natsumi misspeaking. Natsumi, what the hell? Can you even speak English? Let's do that one right over again. Cut. Okay, cu cut, Natsumi. The line is, come experience your own adventures here. Yeah, it was it was supposed to be a uh, mistake. Oh. oh. Oh, sorry. I got it mixed up. Uh, one more time then, but I've had it up to here with you, Natsumi. My patience is wearing thin. Can you just do it right just this once for your big brother? Action! Take two and action, even though I know you'll screw it up again. <laughs> and that's it for our tour of camp, buddy. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to come experience your own adventures here, please don't hesitate to give the camp a visit or... Uh... Cut! Okay, cut, Natsumi, that was terrible. Focus. I'm really sorry. S sorry, I seem to be forgetting my words. <sighs> Maybe the cue board will be of some assistance to help you recall your words. Natsumi? Natsumi, I think you need to relax. You seem stressed out. We don't have all day. The sun's already setting. I know you're better than this. Natsumi, hurry the fuck up before the sun sets. I swear to God, if it doesn't, I will spank you, boy. Just like I used to when we were kids, and my parents asked me to discipline you. You remember those good times, Natsumi? <laughs> okay, take three. Action. Keitaro? Keitaro, is Natsumi really alright? His acting has been off since morning. I've never seen him like this before. Should we do something? Hmm. Hmm. This is tough. If we... Take over, I kind of like that, almost like, we should just stop for today. Cause like, Naoto, you're being a jackass. Calm Natsumi down means, you know, we could jerk him off, but like literally, I think that might just make him really flustered, so let's not do that. Uh, <laughs> let Natsumi get some rest? No, the sun's setting. Guy Natsumi and give him feedback? I mean, granted, that would be good. It's either take over or give Natsumi feedback. I think I'm gonna go with, take over. I just want to end this. Like, he really should just be able to go decompress after this hellish day with his brother. Um, um excuse me, guys. I want to say something. Cut. Ah, uh, please go ahead, Katero. Cut. Well... Natsumi looks exhausted from the physical shoot earlier, and I think he's way too pressured right now. Katero. Katero. Um... Can I take over Natsumi's part for this scene, at least? <sighs> But won't that conflict with the storyboard we made, Mr. Naoto? I think it's only fitting that Natsumi closed the video since he was the one featured in the opening sequence. I mean, while well, granted, yes, that would be a good idea. I mean, Natsumi clearly isn't capable of acting at all, so maybe Keitaro should take over. Maybe we should reshoot this entire video with Keitaro as our lead actor. Keitaro has a point, though. Besides, he's already appeared plenty in this scene before, and he managed to deliver his lines really well, too, unlike somebody. Well... I really don't mind, as long as it's alright with Natsumi. It, it's alright, but are you sure about this, Keitaro? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. You can go back to the cabin for now and get some rest. Well... Well, well can I at least stay and watch until you guys finish? Yeah. Of course, as long as you're relaxed. Alright, roger that. Alright, thank you, Keitaro. It's settled then. Kato will be our actor for the ending sequence. I can already tell this is going to finish in just one take. Watch a real master at work, Natsumi. <laughs> Places, everyone. I'll be operating the camera this time. We have to wrap this up ASAP. It's getting cloudy now, and we're about to run out of light. Kato. Okay, Kato. Good luck. Though I'm sure you don't need it. Unlike somebody, you're actually competent. Action. Three, two, one, action.
I knew I might not have been the right thing to take Natsumi's place, but I needed to do something before the pressure got to be too much for him. Natsumi seemed really down after everything, but we were all hoping he'd cheer up soon. Eventually, we finished with the shoot, and Nato seemed happy with how everything turned out. All right. Okay, that should be all the filming we can do for today. Good job, Katero. You actually finished it. Unlike somebody else here, not pointing any fingers or naming any names, my brother. We made it just in time. Looks like it's gonna rain a bit, judging by these clouds. Good job, everyone. Although I expect you to do a little better tomorrow. All right, Natsumi. <laughs> uh, what? Everyone? Everyone except Natsumi. You did a great job, Natsumi. Get it together. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry I screwed up today. Okay, real talk. I'm actually getting kind of pissed at Nato's brother. He's being a total asshole. Like he needs to stop treating Natsumi so shitty. It's all right. It's fine, really. It's not like I've been ripping on you this whole time. I'm sure it's just one of those rare bad days. <laughs> yeah, rare bad days. It's just most days for you are like this. That's rare. You can always make up for it. Anyway, Anyway, how about you guys go and head back to your cabins now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. My back is killing me. And I think I need to lie down. Indeed. Indeed, I'd prefer a long bath as well. I've never perspired... <laughs> I've never perspired so much from holding placards all day. Awesome. Awesome. I'll see you two tomorrow. All right. All right, Katero. Let's pack up all the equipment. Oh. Let me help. Natsumi. Uh, Natsumi, you don't have to. Let me and Nato handle this for now. Besides, look at his big, strong muscles. I think you just get in the way with your with your tiny, weak, toned body. If you can even call it toned. <laughs> but... But, Katero, I, I thought you really liked my body. Uh, uh, I'm fine. I already dragged you guys down the whole day. The least I could do is help pack up. I really think you should go ahead and rest up at the cabin. That way you'll be in top condition for the rest of the scenes we film tomorrow. Besides, I kind of want some alone time with your brother, if you know what I'm saying, Natsumi. Wink, wink. Natsumi. Now listen to your friend, Natsumi. Katero is just saying that he that that because he cares about you. Wink wink. <laughs> Go ahead and call it a day, little bro. We can take it from here. Don't worry. Don't worry, Natsumi. I'll be back right away. Uh, all right, Katero, if you insist, but I swear to God if you actually have sex with him, I'm totally dumping you. All right. All right. Now that that's taken care of, we better start getting all this equipment moved in before the rain catches us. I'm glad that dead weight is gone though. Uh, Nato, can I ask you something? Oh. oh, what is it, Katero? Um... I don't mean to pry, but is that how you always treated Natsumi, even out of camp? Oh. Oh, you mean how I push him to excel? Yeah, that's what I was doing. I wasn't, I wasn't acting like a douche to him or anything. I'm just trying to do what's best for him. I want him to achieve greatness. I want him to achieve the same greatness that I've achieved. I'm the model for him. <laughs> Why, yes, as brothers, it's our own special way of bringing the best out of each other. I see. I see. <laughs> if you're worried that Natsumi is getting upset under my guidance, I've known him long enough to know that he grows faster because of it. It's how we were raised, after all, so trust me, Katero, he's used to it. Oh, uh, okay, but, I mean, you totally are acting like a douche. Aw, you're worried about my little brother. You're such a sweet boy, Katero. <laughs> Natsumi really is lucky to have someone like you, you know. Oh. oh, whoops, looks like it's gonna rain soon. We better get these things inside now. R right You know, whenever there's a, a white flash of light, it means it's gonna rain right away. I mean, shouldn't the flash of light have been blue or something if it was lightning? Like, why is it white? But fine, whatever. <laughs> oh no, it's pouring outside. I knew I should have helped Kateron and Nauto with the equipment. It's not too late to go out there and... <laughs> damn it! God damn, where'd all this rain come from all of a sudden? Actually, guys, I think it's a little... I should have actually ended the episode a second ago, but... Um, I'm gonna end the episode here because this episode's going on a little long, but um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode and hopefully in the next episode, Nauto will stop acting like a douchebag, right?
Like, nah, I'll always be acting like a douchebag. My brother Natsumi will never accomplish anything. I mean, let's just hope, right? Because I feel bad for Natsumi. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.